Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to install Wine version 7.4 on Manjaro. But first don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. And make sure to give that notification bell a good old ring so you don't miss out on any whenever I upload a new video. So, Wine is a compatibility layer between Windows software and the Linux operating system. Wine stands for Wine is not an emulator because it's not, it is just makes things compatible with each other. So how to install Wine on Manjaro is pretty easy. In fact, it's easier than installing Ubuntu. I'll put a card for that in the top right hand corner over here. You'll see the pop up. So let's begin with just doing a quick system update. Uh, you know, out of, out of safety, of course. So to do that, it's sudo uh, pacman-syu. It's going to ask for the password, and then just got to wait for it to go. Okay, and there's nothing to do. Everything's all up to date. So to download and install Wine for Manjaro, it is as easy as sudo pacman-s Wine HQ. Correction. Wine. Sorry, I was just looking at the Wine. I was looking at the Wine HQ website before we started here, but as we can see, it was. It's just as simple as sudo pacman hyphen s space wine, and there we go. It's going to download all the packages it thinks it needs, version 7.3. Now, it says version 7.3 there, but the uh, according to Wine HQ, uh, version 7.4 is currently in development and has been released. Now, I, because I know how Manjaro is, because Manjaro is based off the Arch operating system, which is a bleeding edge. I was expecting 7.4, but I stand corrected, so we're installing 7.3. As we can see, we have just installed Wine 7.3, and to confirm that, it's just Wine hyphen hyphen version. And now we have Wine version 7.3 installed. Now, so far, this is quicker and easier than Ubuntu and Fedora. So, Let's install some software. So I have already downloaded these before I started. And just to confirm, in that we now have a open with Wine's Wine Windows program loader. This didn't pop up before. And it's easy just going right click, run with. This will pop up the first time you run Wine. Just say, hey, look, I need this package. I don't currently have it. Just say, okay, go ahead and install. And I'll just download and install it. It's just it is that easy. I found it is significantly easier than Ubuntu and Fedora, which is surprising considering Ubuntu is designed to be more user friendly and easier. But in this case, it just works. Now this is asking for a uh, different install path. I can't give it that. So we'll just say, yeah, you can just, just install the documents. You'll be fine. So here we are. Um, yeah, this is this is a Windows browser. I can't get this on Linux. I'd very much like to be able to get it on Linux because it is a very nice piece of software. It is a very nice browser. Now we can see here that um it's having a bit of issues because of the compatibility. Like as I previously mentioned, Wine is a compatibility layer. Not everything is going to work straight away. The installer for this browser isn't working, but that's okay. As we can see here, this is having a major fit with itself. So we'll uh, just uh, move on to installing Discord instead. Uh, yes, I'm sure I want to kill that. Sometimes it might happen, just apparently not for that. And this is asking for a different net, net framework. That is also fine. So we will go grab something else for example let's go download chrome proper so as we can see here download chrome we don't want chromium we want chrome proper now as we can see here this is for debian and ubuntu and fedora open source now i'm not using them so how about we download chrome proper no we don't want that we want to Download Windows Chrome. So to do that, we're just going to go Chrome download. 
Windows 10, not Windows 11, because who wants Windows 11 nowadays? People are saying, oh, Windows 11 is so good. It's like, no, it's really not. Please, please calm yourself down. Windows 11 is not that good. Calm yourself. So we'll just get a downloading Windows uh, Google Chrome from any trusted source, such as Softonic. I've downloaded a good chunk of software from here in the past. It's a very good provider. We're going to download Chrome. And here we are. So just going to open a folder, which is here. Say, so, okay. Now, once, once we've actually got Wine installed and uh, opened a couple pieces of software with the Wine loader, you just double click it and it works straight off the bat. Now, here we are. We have proper Google Chrome, not Chromium. This will work with Manjaro because Chrome isn't supported, isn't necessarily supported out of the box with what with Manjaro, for example, which of course is an arch an arch derivative. But because I like to be able to use Chrome, because I've got I've got a lot of stuff saved over there, just gotta sometimes just it's easy to easy to use Chrome. I like it, so here we are. It, it, it is it is still installing. This just hasn't crashed, although it's Windows software. I, I I would expect it to crash sometimes, you know. But no, this is still installing, perfectly on its way. Installation complete, and now we just need to go here. Say, okay, can I have Chrome? Google Chrome. Give it a couple seconds. And once Chrome decides to catch up, because we all know Chrome is a Chrome is a RAM hog, which it appears to be doing so just now. Uh, we're just going to go recently used, install Chrome. Hey Chrome, stop being a RAM hog. Chrome's decided not to work, but it, it has installed. It's just Chrome being Chrome, really. It's not much I can do about that. So anyway, that's what we're going to call it there, there for today. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. I do have some good news. I have recently been accepted into the GitHub Sponsors Program. So if you would like to support me uh, on GitHub, you can do. Uh, I'll be leaving a link to that in the description. Your, your views do do plenty good. Uh, but if you choose to support me there, I am, I am forever grateful and thankful for that. But anyway, I'd like to thank my patrons, Raining Hazmat and Ashley, for being subscribed over at Patreon. You can subscribe over there for $1 a month to get early access to videos. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. I have been Nick. You have been amazing, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.